the affair can end but will your heart mend this is dr nimrit singh a psychologist psychotherapist a healer and an author so today we are going to be talking about should you forgive an affair so when we're talking about an affair is it possible that it is a symptom of a dysfunctional relationship or a marriage only you would know so many times what looks like the symptom and the seed can be different the seed could be discontent difficulty with each other not being able to address it not communicating it and what happens is the outcome the symptom like i can tell you recently i met a woman uh, the husband and wife came together uh, the husband was very reluctant to you know announce that uh, he bought his wife for therapy because she was having an affair what he said is that she is not feeling very comfortable she is having hormonal changes probably menopausal and the wife just scorned at him and she said you know what you can sit out and i'd like to talk to the therapist and as we spoke she straight away the moment she got comfortable with me she said that you know what i like another guy and he likes me too he's much younger to me he gets me he understands me and he offloads a lot of my tension and pressure and i love being with him while my husband just doesn't get this the husband if you look at him he's perfect there's nothing wrong with him but he's so uh, idealistic so unreal that it was very difficult for her to share anything with him there's nothing wrong he's a great father he works for the house he does everything so the woman just realized as she was talking that yeah i think i've not been very fair to him but i don't i don't think i've done very wrong by having an affair because that always kept me going that was my energizer so the question is that should this woman continue having the affair is the man going to acknowledge it in many societies you know an affair is looked at as something very dark and a shadow but the truth of the matter is it does exist no when a dysfunctional marriage can exist so can an affair e- exist and they both exist in simultaneity but we're not ready to acknowledge and accept it often times it could be a transgenerational pattern if you notice like i had a client who spoke about her fa- grandfather having an affair and she got to know of it very late she adulated him and the moment she got to know she saw certain signs in her own husband and she put two both the things together and she said that maybe my husband is having an affair and it became a disaster fortunately we could help her in therapy but the question is sometimes you may have heard of something you do not have trust in relationships that could also lead you to believe that something is happening something is you know not going right So we need to keep four things in mind when we are looking at what to do when there's an affair. Make a head and heart decision. Do not just, you know, jump to a impulsive decision. At the same time, I would say don't wait wait for eternity. Sometimes an affair, believe it or no, can be an eye opener. It can bind the relationship. So for this woman when she spoke, she did realize that though this was very meaningful it helped her to discover herself and value herself more but she did take a call that she would like to continue this relationship with her husband and um, let this relationship fade by so whether you want to whether you forgive the affair or no really depends upon you know what kind of investment has already gone into the relationship how much you care for the person how much the person realizes and also as i told you that where was the seed of the issue remember a uh, affair could just be a symptom the seed could be in a dysfunctional relationship But together if you can hold the space of love trust and accountability then it's worth it everybody can make mistakes at some point or the other